Traveling through space can be a dizzying experience, even for veteran astronauts. But now, a ticket to the air show gets you on board China's space station without having to leave gravity behind. Wang Xin is one of Tiangong's chief architects. The layout and facilities here are almost identical to what we have in space. For example, this is a manual control panel for the robotic arms, which are programmed to assist the two astronauts in extravehicular tasks. In case of an emergency, a third astronaut can control the arms manually from inside the spacecraft. To accommodate six crew members simultaneously, there are plenty of beds on board. Some come with views of planet Earth. Others are a bit more unconventional. It might look odd from here, but in space, they won't feel the difference between up or down. Nice and warm. China's big dreams for space don't stop there. The current outpost is designed to last a decade, but it could expand beyond that. Analysts expect demand for the orbiting laps to increase when the International Space Station goes out of service. These are docking points to connect cargo resupply vessels and crew to spacecraft. Our space station is upgradable and we hope to extend its lifespan by enhancing existing facilities. We have a T-shaped configuration now, but we can add another core and two more lab modules in the future. Tiangong is the culmination of a three-decade effort to achieve self-sufficiency in exploring the next frontier. As China aspires to build research bases on the Moon and Mars, this permanent display in the city of Zhuhai will offer a lasting tribute to the country's first home in space.